Hey, Alex Lawson, the executive director of Social Security Works, socialsecurityworks.org, strengthensocialsecurity.org, uh, on Twitter, SSWorks or ALaw202. And Alex, welcome back to the program. I, I, I wanted to get you on to just kind of catch up on what's, you know, what, what is happening with the Biden administration, with, the, with Medicare, the Centers for Medicare, uh, CMS, uh, and uh, uh, Medicare and Social Security and all this sort of thing. And, and, and uh, most importantly, what's going on with the ACO REACH program and what are the latest scams that we're seeing around Medicare Part C? You have to have that, you know. So <laughs> welcome. Uh, and let me just throw the door open wide for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, always a pleasure to be here, Tom, especially because you're one of the few people who really understands the danger here and the crisis point we're in, uh, where private insurance is slowly but surely uh, gobbling up traditional Medicare, or as I call it now, actual Medicare, um, because private insurance is not Medicare. Actual Medicare is Medicare, uh, but private insurance is making up almost 51% of people who are signing up for what they believe to be uh, Medicare. So uh, first, let's start with uh, ACO REACH. It's a, it's a long shot battle to stop this thing uh, before the new contract kicks off in the new year. Uh, but it's still, it, the activism is still ongoing. Um, it is, you know, there's some legislative calendar left before the new year to do something. But it's it's pretty unlikely, Tom, that that's going to happen. Um, I think we should, in all of our organizing, you know, we should focus on it. We should elevate it as an issue. And we should ensure that the activism that goes into it um, can move to the next game board, which is next Congress. Uh, and that includes ACO reach over the long run, but also all of Medicare Advantage uh, and just taking on these private insurers that have slowly but surely taken over actual Medicare. Uh, and we're sort of in the end game. Once they get the majority of people signing up for Medicare, they can just sort of hit the gas and it just starts squeezing out uh, traditional Medicare. Right. Well, at that point, they'll probably, you know, Republicans in Congress will probably say, hey, the American people have voted. More than half of Americans want private insurance, so we're just going to end Medicare, and we're going to call all these policies Medicare, and then, hey, let's talk about Medicare for all. And we're right back exactly. where we were 30 years ago, um, you know, or, or 50 years ago. Uh, actually, 60 or 70 years ago, I mean, you know, it would be literally the end of Medicare. Um, exactly. So can you explain what ACO REACH is? Yeah, ACO REACH is a, it, it, so it's smaller. Medicare Advantage is enormous. Uh, but ACO REACH is really insidious because what it is, is it's a program that allows um, basically them, it allows CMS or a part of CMS, uh, which oversees Medicare. Uh, the part of it's called CMMI. And it's just, a, it, it, it's supposed to run experiments. But the experiment that they're running is just plucking people out of actual Medicare and dropping them into private insurers without their knowledge. Now, who, um, who makes this decision? Who, how do you get plucked, and how do you know that you've been plucked? It's very random, and the, uh, a huge problem is that no one knows. Like, you have to sort of just randomly find out by knowing that it's possible, uh, and then asking your provider if you're part of this, if you uh, have been moved over into an ACO REACH um, uh, program. Wouldn't, wouldn't you get something in the mail saying, "Hi, we're United Healthcare, and we're now taking care of your Medicare"? Maybe at some point. And and one of the confusing things is that uh, Tom, what you're talking about, also happens. So, um, but uh, from like a sort of different uh, angle, where uh, the provider network that you're in could also be taken over, uh, and your doctor is now going to be owned by the same people who own these private uh, Well, I just, I just learned that that just happened, that, that my doctor, in fact, is retiring at the end of this month, and he has sold his practice to one of these big companies. And, yep. and I'm now getting uh, you know, regular emails from this doctor's office saying, come on in, and we'll tell you about our wonderful new Medicare Advantage program. Exactly. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, frankly, shopping for a new doctor. But um, uh, you know that uh, so far, I haven't seen any evidence that, that my doctor has thrown me out of Medicare. I, I just don't understand how my doctor could have the power to take me out of a program that I signed up for. So what they, they so they can't take you out, Tom. That's that's exactly right. But what they do do is exactly what you're saying. And I think you know the the truth is that you're one of the few people who might 
like really understand up front that when they're saying, hey, join our new Medicare Advantage program, that that's not actual Medicare. Right. For the vast majority of people, you know, they trust their doctor. They're like, oh, the doctor is now part of some bigger network. And they're saying to join this new Medicare program. And most people just believe that's Medicare. And their uh, doctor tell, is telling them it's a better deal. So they're trusting it. And that is that when I say like the 51% and they put the pedal to the metal, that's a huge part of it. They just start squeezing everyone out of traditional Medicare uh, by just inundating them with uh, emails, mail pieces. You see it on TV. Um, and as you know, there's no advertising for actual Medicare. Right. You know, there's no, there's no, uh, we're, we really want to get John Bowser Bauman on TV uh, saying, you know, hey, sign up for actual Medicare where you get the care that you need from any doctor, uh, where there's no denial of care. That's actual Medicare. Private right. Medicare, or I'm sorry, private insurance that has invaded Medicare, as you know, they only make money one way. They take our premiums and deny our care. So that's the same in the Medicare universe uh, as in the prior, in the pre-Medicare universe. Private insurance only does one thing, which is, uh, well, two things, but they end up in the same way. They, they first, they only want to sell it to healthy people. So they get all of the big data advantages uh, and they really market it to those people who won't need care. And then if someone slips through and they actually need care, they get sick and they need care, then their game is to deny them that care. Right. Um, so that, that's what is at stake here. With traditional Medicare, as you know, or what I call actual Medicare, if you get sick, you get the care that you need. And, and that's what these Wall Street-backed, private equity-backed companies can't stand. So what should people look out for and... Uh... And, and, and how can we most effectively be activists on behalf of real Medicare? Um, so a, a few things. One of them is uh, find out if you're in actual Medicare. Um, and I know it's, it's really confusing, but uh, it is good to know, especially at this point, uh, what type of Medicare you actually have. So right. if you are getting it through Medicare Advantage, um, then you are going to want to really be diligent in understanding what uh, is on offer to you and what they can do. Because one of their big tricks is that they will just illegally or wrongfully deny you care, but you don't even know that you can contest that. Mm -hmm. um, so just know uh, that you can contest things. Also, really examine your network uh, and ensure that the doctors that you're allowed to go through under a privatized system uh, are available where you, you know, especially if you travel a lot or things of that nature. Unfortunately, with private insurance in the Medicare universe, you have to really stay on top of what you have to know that they're in an adversarial position with right. you. Right. And they can um, change the rules every year, too, can't they? Every year, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So then on the policy side, uh, and, it, and unfortunately, Tom, as you know as well, it's not as easy as if you're on Medicare Advantage just switching over to actual Medicare because they've made that really difficult, potentially right. harmful to you. Um, so you really have to dig in about your personal situation uh, and be armed with the information of, uh, of what you can do and what is owed to you. On the policy side, there's a lot of things, but I, I really do think that Mark Pocan's bill that I know he's spoken with you about that would just not allow these private insurers to call themselves Medicare would go a long way. I don't think people would be confused between choosing actual Medicare and United Healthcare, right? Yeah. Or actual Medicare and Humana. Um, so I really like that bill, and he is uh, working that right now. So you can call your members of Congress and tell them to uh, co-sponsor. It's called the Save Medicare Act, right? Yep, uh, to co-sponsor Mark Pocan's Save Medicare Act. And I don't think we're going to get bipartisan support on it, Tom, but we might. So I would just say, whoever your member is in the House, give them a call and tell them to get on this bill. Yeah, and in the Senate too, right? And and in the, and in the Senate as well. There is not yet I, a Senate companion version, I don't believe. And exactly. So you'd be pushing sort of for the creation of it. Um, but right. I do think that in the House, it makes a lot of sense to actually push for co-sponsorship right now, because um, Mark Pocan is actually looking for that right now. Again, I don't think that this bill is going to pass. But what it does do is it, it sets the, the stage for a real fight that we're going to have next year. 
And the thing is, I'm not, I'm not super pessimistic. I, I know we're losing, uh, but we are. There's a sea change of understanding just how bad private insurance in the Medicare universe is. Oh, the New York Times has been doing a lot yeah. of pieces on this recently. New York Times, Wall Street Journal, right? Like things that you've been saying, Tom, for years, <laughs> all of the elite media are just sort of waking up to, but that's big. So right. now it is time to demand the Biden administration uh, start weeding out the worst actors in Medicare Advantage, start reining in the fraud and abuse that occurs in this uh, privatized Medicare. And, you know, we're going to just keep driving that until we have uh, uh, even the playing field and actual Medicare is winning the day. Um, so that's what we have to be looking forward to in the next Congress. But right now, I think it's about setting the pieces up to do that. So what's the best uh, website for the work that you're doing, Alex Lawson? Uh, if you go to socialsecurityworks.org and you sign up for our petition there, you'll, you'll stay up to date on uh, all of our campaigns, including our executive action on against the privatization of Medicare. Great. Alex Lawson, Executive Director of Social Security Works. Socialsecurityworks.org is the website, ALAW202 or SSWorks on Twitter. Alex, again, thank you so much for dropping by.